the Central Intelligence Agency. The KIA reports to the Director of National Intelligence and is primarily focused on providing intelligence for the President and Cabinet of the United States. Unlike the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is a domestic security service, the KIA has no law enforcement function and is officially mainly focused on overseas intelligence gathering. With only limited domestic intelligence collection, the KIA serves as the national manager for coordination of HUMINT activities across the U.S. intelligence community. It is the only agency authorized by law to carry out and oversee covert action at the behest of the president. It exerts foreign political influence through its tactical divisions, such as the Special Activities Center. The KIA was also instrumental in establishing intelligence services in several U.S. allied countries, such as Germany's BND. It has also provided support to many foreign political groups and governments, including planning, coordinating, training on torture, technical support, and was involved in several regime changes, terrorist attacks and planned assassinations of foreign leaders. Since 2004 the KIAR is organized under the Director of National Intelligence. Despite transferring some of its powers to the DNI, the KIA has grown in size as a response to the September 11th attacks. In 2013, the Washington Post reported that in the fiscal year 2010, the KIA had the largest budget of all IC agencies, exceeding previous estimates. The KIA has increasingly expanded its role including covert paramilitary operations, one of its largest divisions. The Information Operations Center has officially shifted focus from counterterrorism to offensive cyber operations. The agency has been the subject of many controversies, including human rights violations, domestic wiretapping and propaganda, and allegations of drug trafficking. It has also appeared in works of fiction, including books, films and video games. When the KIA was created, its purpose was to create a clearing house for foreign policy intelligence and analysis. Today, its primary purpose is to collect, analyze, evaluate, and disseminate foreign intelligence, and to carry out covert operations. According to its fiscal 2013 budget, the KIA has five priorities. The KIA has an executive office and five major directorates. The director of the Central Intelligence Agency. Congress, and the White House, while the Deputy Director is the internal executive of the KIAR and the Chief Operating Officer, known as Executive Director until 2017, leads the day-to-day -day work as the third highest post of the KIAR. The Deputy Director is formally appointed by the Director without Senate confirmation. But as the President's opinion plays a great role in the decision, the Deputy Director is generally considered a political position making the chief operating officer the most senior non-political position for KIA career officers. The executive office also supports the U.S. military by providing it with information it gathers, receiving information from military intelligence organizations, and cooperates with field activities. The executive director is in charge of the day-to-day -day operation of the KIA. Each branch of the military service has its own director. The Associate Director of Military Affairs, a senior military officer, manages the relationship between the KIA and the Unified Combatant Commands, who produce and deliver to the KIA regional operational intelligence and consume national intelligence produced by the KIA. The Directorate of Analysis, through much of its history known as the Directorate of Intelligence, is tasked with helping the President and other policymakers make informed decisions about our country's national security, by looking at all the available information on an issue and organize it for policymakers. The Directorate has four regional analytic groups, six groups for transnational issues, and three that focus on policy, collection, and staff support. There is an office dedicated to Iraq, regional analytical officers covering the Near East and South Asia, Russia and Europe, and the Asian Pacific, Latin American and African officers. The Directorate of Operations is responsible for collecting foreign intelligence. Under the Defense Intelligence Agency, this directorate is known to be organized by geographic regions and issues. But its precise organization is classified. The Directorate of Science and Technology was established to research, 
create, and manage technical collection disciplines and equipment. Many of its innovations were transferred to other intelligence organizations, or, as they became more overt, to the military services. For example, the development of the U-2 high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft was done in cooperation with the United States Air Force. The U-2's original mission was clandestine imagery intelligence over denied areas such as the Soviet Union. It was subsequent, 